Hello Virgo, I am Ulrich, I'm a Learn Normal card reader, and today we will do your uh, Learn Normal, your general Learn Normal card reading for the month of April. We will uh, start with no preset goal this time, but uh, in general the cards uh, guide us uh, very soon in a certain direction uh, for the sign of Virgo. So we will just go with the flow and uh, see where it leads us uh, for you, for yourself uh, as the sign of Virgo for the month to come. So Virgo, here I go for your card reading for uh, the month of April. Hello Virgo and welcome to your Lenormand Roman card reading for the month of uh, April. As your first card here uh, on your person, this is, these are the, 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 the cards that are very close to you. Uh, these are the central themes that we are seeing here. So here as your first card, we see the whip. Um, the whip is not an easy card to have on your person. Uh, this is a card uh, that points to that there will be certain conflicts in your life. There will be certain challenges at hand here. Um, if you have certain expectations, you might do, be, uh, to do efforts for it. But in general, this points to a quarrel with somebody close to you. This is what we are seeing here. Um, if you can, if you see that the situation is about to escalate, sometimes it's best here with this card, because we have the diplomatic card here in the middle, it's best to be, to be diplomatic, even though you are convinced that you're in the right position, even though you think that the right is on your side. With this, uh, with this combination, it's best to be wise and be the smarter of the two, because maybe if you, if you want to argue and you start to argue, it's like we're putting petrol on the fire or that we put oil on the fire. So it's not a wise thing to do here with this card. So it's better here to be uh, wiser. On another way, on the work front, is if this is related to your job, uh, this could literally mean that you have a lot of energy for your work. You can literally crack the whip here. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible here, if this is on the work front, that we uh, need to have a more aggressive, assertive approach. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination of cards. Then the central card that we have in here, this, as I said here, this is a, a very uh, diplomatic card that we are having here. It's best, this card advises us here to be silent. Also, the card next to us, the fox, is a stealth card. So this is more like we need to be di diplomatic, tactful, smart, waiting till it's the right time. This is what we are seeing here. Um, if you are diplomatic, you will, you will be able to handle the situation. If you go into it, it will be dif difficult here. Um, there could be a certain threat around us that we are not aware of. So be careful here with this uh, combination of cards. Here you are urged, the card tells us, to wait till it's the right moment to express what needs to be expressed. But maybe you need to analyze the situation more. Virgo is very good at that. So you need to make an anal analyzation of the situation before you speak. But for now, for the moment, it's best to keep quiet. You need to get you need to see how the situation is actually connected to each other. And then it might be the right time to speak. This is what we are seeing here. You need to be very dip diplomatic. But since you have the snake on the central card here, it points that you have the right abilities. You just need to imp implement them. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, now we will go into the uh, vertical lines. We will uh, start with the vertical lines. So we start here with the whip, the ring, and, uh, and the anchor. The whip and the ring, um, here it points to relationships problems. If this is not relationship problems, it's relation, it's problems with contracts. For instance, if you are a, an independent person, it could mean that you have problems with contracts, with obligations, with things that you agreed on before, and you have problems with executing those things. If this is on the relationship here, sometimes it means that we are confronted with uh, promises that are broken. We break promises or prom uh, promises that are made to us are broken. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Anyway, um, there could be also some misunderstandings here that we are uh, giving here. Um, and we need to, with the snake there in the middle, again, we need to be diplomatic. Um, it also could mean that there you have made some promises and the, these promises cause you pain now. But in general, it points to arguments in partnership. This is what we are seeing here. On the other hand, if you are negotiating for a contract, 
This is a very good combination for work. If you are negotiating for getting a certain contract at hand, you will negotiate till it's stable because this is the stable card. You will not give up and you will be very diplomatic and tactful for getting the contract that you want. So this is like a lawyer here. This is like a, a contract lawyer here who negotiates till he or she actually get what she wants. This is what we are seeing here. This is then the other way that there are, you can negotiate very strong here. This is what we are seeing here. But on the relationship, sometimes this is a difficult combination. Um, later, I will immediately go into it. These are not good cards that we are having here for relationship, but we go later into more details. Anyway, um, it's possible also that we need to work hard for these contracts or contracts that we made or making are, away, are making us work very hard. Um, it's possible that this is a contract that you had before that you take back in because the ring returns what we had before and the whip is two. So it means it comes back. So this could be a contract that you're getting in, but a contract that you already had before. This is what we are seeing here also for that way it's also very positive but you will need to be able to negotiate especially for getting more stable it's important that we negotiate about the prices that you are sure about your about your profits you need to negotiate very strongly don't say yes if the negotiations are hard don't blow them up but be diplomatic and you just say okay i will think about it this is the diplomacy or you need to act if, if these are one-time deals, take a break, think, and don't go into it. See that your mind works well. This is what we are seeing here, especially with the snake. You need to be tactful. You need to be diplomatic here. It's very important here because this is, it might be a long-term contract here, and you need to see that you have enough profits in all circumstances. So see that you that you re read also the fine print. Very important here before you sign that you are aware of the fine print. If you don't know anything about fine print and you're only an, all, all, only a negotiator, make sure that you have somebody with you who knows or that you can contact a person, that you can send the documents immediately so you know the clues. Because previous contracts might not be up to date anymore. If it's the same contract, there may, um, it's possible that you need some adjustments. So here, be aware of that here with this uh, combination. But there will be a lot of uh, discussions here about the contract. Um, the contract comes back. I said here, um, we have the ability also with this combination, if there are arguments in the relationship, to end this ability and to resolve it in a diplomatic way. This is also what the cards give you. But it's very good for, as I said here, for contracts if this is ideal. This is ideal if you're negotiating for a job offer, for a contract, this is ideal, this one. You're not gonna have problems and you're gonna get your way. Um, then we have the, anchor, the ring and the anchor. If there, uh, mostly this tells us, if there are serious relationship is issues, that even though there are a lot of things happening in the relationship, you still could have the feeling that there is some loyalty here, even though you know that there are things that are going on. I will go immediately into it now. The snake, first I'm gonna go into the negotiations again. If the snake, the snake is there for your negotiations, be sure that you are not alone for this contract. There are some people who are also interested in the same contract. The, the snake means three. So it means you're with three in it for the contract. There is more than no more than one. There are three people involved in that. If this is on the relationship, three also applies. That means that you have a relationship with somebody, but the person, maybe your partner, maybe you, have a relationship out of the marriage, out of the uh, out of the engagement, whatever it is here, out of the out of the relationship that you are in out of the engagement, out of the marriage here. This is what this card tells us. There is somebody else involved. The fox means that this is half-heartedness. This is actually not too good cards for that one. So if you have um, a relationship, it means that one of both parties, you or the other one, is half-hearted. So it's like you, you'd, you'd, uh, if this person tells you 
uh, this or that, or, or, and, and there are things going on in the relationship, you feel that the heart is not committed. Your heart is not committed or their heart is not committed. There is something going on here. This is what we are seeing here. So for relationship here, uh, this is not a good combination. However, for contracts, as I said, um, you need to you can be sure that there are uh, other people interested. And here you need to make your bet. You need to investigate. The fox tells us to double, triple check everything, what is going on, fine print, uh, especially with the mice. Details are very important here. You need to check, double check all the details. As I said here, it might be wise that you, for the contract, you bring a lawyer with you, even though it costs you some money, but it might be a very profit, profitable thing, profitable thing if you take this person with you, it could be in your advantage because then this person will tell you, don't do like this, don't sign that, don't do that. Just see like that because this is the card of, it's like an investigator, a police officer, and you need to double check the contracts. Very important. And if you do so, it will bring you good foundations. Coming back to the anchor and uh, the ring here, um, here we see that, um, we see here that certain commitments, um, because we have these cards, I'm assuming here, they will not be honored on the long run. There is something missing here. Something is missing here, but normally if these cards would not be here, it would be good, but now it's not because these cards are here for the future. And some things that should be honored in the relationship are not, uh, but for, uh, employment contracts again it's very good so this is what we are seeing here this is stable here security here per permanence here for the contract if you uh, implement the right uh, things here um, this contract that you are uh, negotiating for is very important for you it it puts a heavy burden on you it's it, it, it's very important for you because I see can see this here in the card. This is also long term. It it's, gives you a safety. That's why you need to implement the safety yourself. This is what we are seeing here. You need to double check yourself for everything so you have enough profits. I mentioned this again and again. It's very important here with this card. Double check the contract. Read the contract. Take somebody with you. It's very important to do so. But you can do the negotiations. And if you are with there with, with a lawyer or, or a representative, you can advise each other and see what you want, what you don't want. Very important to do so. Uh, and also talk to it with your accountant. But what are the expectations, the economical expectations for the future? Because things might change in the future. What are the expectations for prices and so on? It's very important also to do so. And then we have, um, uh, for instance, if the prices go up of, of, the, of the basics, yeah, you will need to adjust the contract. But sometimes you cannot get out anymore because you gave your word or you signed. So be wise here, be very wise and see the future. Then we have the, 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 uh, the mice, the snake and um, the cross. The mice and the snake here, um, some people might be envious towards you. Uh, especially if you get this contract then you will be confronted with some envy here. Um, we could see here, um, there's, in the relationship, this points to lack of trust. You, you, there's some trust issues here. Um, be careful also, um, if this comes on the work front and you have made expectations that nobody can bite you in the back. I see this coming here. It's like you turn your back and they bite you. So be careful that everything is solid here. Um, but if you manage this in a, in a good way, you are able here with these cards to protect yourself. So here, the protection you need to think up front here. Um, for some, maybe for the relationship, there might be a dwindling connection. It's like the motivation is decaying because of the problem, uh, problems probably that you have. Probably this relationship before was very passionate because the snake is a passionate card. It's an energetic card. And here, this is an energetic card also. These are very two very strong cards that we are seeing here. And probably this, this relationship or this marriage or whatever, or this engagement that you had before, before it's very spiced, it's very energetic, also a lot of interaction, but it's like it's going stale now. 
This is what we are seeing here. And it's decaying. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. It's like one of both don't want it no more. This is what we are seeing here with this, this card. And it give, can give you also like a loss of energy. This is what we are seeing here. You could also be confronted with certain lies in the relationship. You are lied to, it's possible. Uh, with this combination, somebody spread lies in your surroundings. This could be a man or a woman that is lying to you. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, there could be some, some corruption going on in the relationship here. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Then we have the snake and the cross. Um, we must here with this relation again here, this is a very cautious uh, reading that we have. This, this whole thing tells us to be very cautious. Things are not what they seem. Everything that's happening for you this month, it's not what it seems. So there is some kind of deception taking place around you. So be careful. Make sure that, every, that you implement everything here that you hear here. Um, certain contacts with a person that is close to you. If you're a man, it means that a contract, a contact, sorry, with a certain woman is getting less because this is a female card. But if you're a man, it also, uh, it can also be reversed. So the, the, the contact is dwindling. This is what we are seeing here again. Um, it's possible also, if you don't have the right, the contract is in the right place, if not everything is correct, that your energy will be dwindling and maybe you don't want to fulfill the contract anymore. And as you know, this will lead to more problems. So see that everything is okay. But in the relationship also, this uh, gives here um, some, some let go situation. In the relationship, it's like we want to let go here. This is what we are seeing here. Certain ambitions, cravings are turning into um, burdens. Um, and and we, we could be single-minded we could be single-minded here um, if the relationship don't work uh, too well out it's possible that we totally focus on our work this is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination here um, you duties normally with this combination are very well fulfilled so see that the things for your work are solid uh, whatever it is they might be um, then we have um, the third vertical line. We have the sun, the fox, and the house. This is actually a positive line for work. Again here, um, if you have, if you implemented what I said before, you will come successfully out of the negotiations. You will come out of it on top. Even though you have competition, you will come out on top. And this will be a foundation because the house is the foundation for something in the future. You, you need to see if you build a house and the foundations are no good, yeah, you know there's going to be a problem on the long run. So you need to see that there is enough cement in the concrete, there's enough steel. This is what we are seeing here. You need to see the solid foundations here. Anyway, you will be, um, you will be victorious here because the sun is victory, victorious in, in the work here. This is what we are seeing here. If you are an employee, this means also we do a very good time on our work. We have success here. We handle a, a situation very successful. We have success at our work. Uh, the way that we handle matters in the work are positive. This is what we are seeing here. And also, if you negotiate it well, if your work is good, you will feel happy. You will feel very happy and successful at work here. This is what we are seeing here, but you will compete over the competition also. This is what we are seeing here. But as I said here, we need to be distrustful uh, if we start out this. Um, then here um, also, uh, the sun is also independence and we will feel great enjoyment in the, independent, the, in the independence here that we are receiving because we have organize things well. This is what we are seeing here also. So you will be very self-determined on the work here. This is what we are seeing here. There are joyful situations here on the work front if we made our bed very well. Then we have the fox and the house here. Um, if you are planning uh, on the longer run, this sometimes it points to a rent contract, but it could also mean if you 
have a big house, let's assume you have a big house, that you decide to rent a part of your house or you rent another house. This is what we are seeing here. Um, it's also possible here that um, on the work front, we think about ourselves first. And with the sun also, we should do a little bit so. This is what we are seeing here. But there could be on the work front, even though we are happy, we, we feel fulfilled, there could be some secrecy going on like because the fox, he tends to keep secrets. So there could be something going on here, even though you are happy. Um, anyway, uh, on the work front, this gives you moving forward, but there could be something going on. I'm not saying here, but we need to be suspicious with these cards, even though the things are going well. Always be careful, watch your back. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. You could be very defensive and it might not be a bad thing to do. You could feel like I need to secure here myself. I need to do this and that and I need to prevent this and that. And I need to act like this and that so that don't happen. And that might be a good thing to do here and that you are defensive. You are not really into the group here. You, you provide for yourself. You think I need to protect myself because the group thinks like that, but I'm thinking like that here. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, what we see more here, uh, on the front of um, your family, you will be very cautious. So it means, um, for instance, like, um, for instance, if, if your children say, I'm gonna post this or that on the internet, you could say, no, don't post that. I don't want to post that because uh, if you post, they see this and that, and you don't want like things regarding to your house, they are exposed. For instance, I just give a simple uh, uh, example. You bought a new TV and, and the children are excited and they, they take pictures and they put it, post it online and you say, no, no, don't do that. Don't post that. We, we don't want anybody inviting in our house here who don't belong here. So you, you are very careful for that way. You are careful that things are not posted online from your privacy. Also for pictures, you will be careful what you post, what you say, what you don't say here. And this is a wise thing to do also. You act a little bit here like a preventive police officer. You prevent the crime. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards here. Um, and you will take care of your family here first. This is very important to you. This is what I'm seeing here. We take care of the family. We see that the family has in a way enough to eat, they have, uh, they are provided of enough. Then we um, uh, gonna go in uh, the cross lines. Um, but we will first do the horizontals. I, I still need to do the horizontals. We have the whip, the mice and the sun here. The whip, uh, the mice and the sun, what does this tell us? Well, it's possible also here with this uh, combination that there is that we are confronted with certain forms of disrespect. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible that some people um, would be trying to vi violate our personal rights. So this is what we are seeing here. But since you have the sun here, you will not be very happy with that because the, su the sun is a positive card. So she will try to avoid that. So if these rights are violated, you will oppose to it. But it's possible that some people in your surroundings are trying this to violate certain rights, maybe violate certain contracts, but you will not allow this here since you have the sun here and you will be very on the lookout for that. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, here sometimes also, um, we see here um, that if people are trying to violate our rights or are not honest to us, we could turn away from them because you have the snake here in the middle. And if things like that happen, they, uh, they are disrespectful, they are violating your rights, you could say, no, no, I don't interact with these people anymore. This is enough. Because here we have the ring also. This is the card that is ruled by Venus and Venus wants to things in a balanced way. So if this happens here, maybe you don't act on it, but you keep your distance if this would happen. This is what we are seeing here. Um, but the ring wants to be balanced out and the sun wants to 
once it's it's happened in in an honest way this is what we are seeing here um it's possible also that if this happens you don't expose your feelings you just keep it for you and you pretend nothing hurts you but you take action you prevent it for the future this is what we are seeing here um it's best here if this happens to you the cards would suggest here that uh, you turn away from it and you go in stealth mode this is what we are seeing here with the cards this could be uh, 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 a good thing to do here for you not to go into discussions here um with this uh, with this combination of cards um if there is a certain escalating abuse in some way in your life it's possible to turn no it's best to turn away from it there could be some stress some delays the mice is stress is delays so if these things are happening they will all be connected if some rights are violated it could give stress rights are violated it could give stress this is what we are seeing here you could see it as a form of abuse and and a conflict here could be exhausting for you and and but in the way if with the sun here mostly the the mice are not very strong, but it doesn't mean it has an effect on you. The strong is the mice, uh, the sun, sorry, the sun is too powerful for the mice. And, but it doesn't mean that the conflict or the, or the, the disrespect is not there. So it will have an effect on you. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Um, it's possible also that um, even though Virgo is very analytic and critical, some people around you are very critical acting towards you and it could annoy you this is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination in extreme cases here we could uh, be confronted with uh, rumors slander sometimes backstabbing so we need to be careful here with this combination you will get tired of that you want to you will you will want just things that are just this is what we are seeing here um, if people have taken things from you that didn't belong for them you will not let that go you will not let that go because with the sun here you will uh, demand justice you want these things are compensated the ring wants compensation this is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination apart. If something is taken from you here, you will ask for compensation. Then we have the mice and the sun. At first, when you are confronted with these, uh, these problems that we just mentioned, you will see that they, as I said here, the, the, the sun is too strong for the mice and these problems will be resolved. But it doesn't mean that things might not happen as I just mentioned. Um, they will be, the sun will, has the ability to solve these conflicts or this disrespect almost completely, but it doesn't mean it, it cannot happen to you, but the sun is very strong. This is what we are seeing here. The mice are scared of the sun because it's too strong for them. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, anyway, here we see also that, um, it doesn't mean there is not a possibility here for corruption or certain things here that there could be some tainted happiness here that we are could not be confronted with some killjoys in our life here some people are moaning maybe around us uh, or complaining uh, we could have these confrontations also um, even corruption here but you will see it and and it will end out positive for you this is what we uh, see here with these cards. Then we have the ring, the snake and the fox. Um, yeah, um, this is uh, not an easy combination that we are having here, especially on the relationship front here, because this literally points that you will be confronted with, with an illicit affair. Uh, you will get to know secrets that there is a, a lover in play from somebody else, your lover, a lover of somebody else, uh, somebody else is uh, mixed up in the relationship or in your marriage. This is what we are seeing here. The marriage or the relationship or the engagement is not working well at all. This is what we are seeing here. Um, again, here, as I said, make your bed for your business here. Um, on the relationship front, it's possible that if you see that there come too much problems in this relationship this the snake tends to be very diplomatic as i said and she moves away if the problems are too big she will move away from it it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman but this is the best thing to do if you see that the problems are escalating or the problems are unovercome or over you cannot overcome them here the snake 
tells us to be diplomatic and to slowly move, move away and go in stealth mode. This is what we are seeing here. Um, there could be, if you are in a relationship, you could feel betrayed or you become betrayed here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, if on the work front, as I said, if you don't make your bet, this could mean a, a breach of contract. That's why I mentioned it many times before. So I mentioned it again. Um, it's it's going to bore you, I know, but uh, it's always here. But anyway, on the relationship front here, uh, there could be some betrayal here, lies that we are seeing here. Uh, our marriage, our relationship could be in a very difficult uh, period here. We, you could do some interruptions in the relationship here. We stop it for a while here. Um, this is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Um, if you are in a relationship, it means also that certain promises to mistresses are made. For instance, if you, if you are married, you have a mistress, you could make promises to her. If you have a partner, it's possible that your partner, he makes promises to, to his lover or to his mistress. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. It can go both ways here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, but if you ask me if there is rivalry in the, in the relationship, the answer is yes. There is somebody here that we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, if you are pursuing a relationship, if you want a relationship with, the, with a certain person, because this relationship is, you are very attracted to it and it has, this is energy. This is a very, the, the snake has a very strong attraction and the whip is all about energy. And this is going in stealth mode. So if we combine the three here, if you belong to this relationship, it might be very rewarding, I'm going to use that word, for releasing energy. But for the long term, be careful because there are players here. There is more than one player. I mean then if you are not yet in a relationship and this person, this man or this woman, you are very attracted to them or maybe you have very good bad experiences with them, it might not be what it is, what it seems. There might be some other people here who need to be fed. You can make the connection yourself here, but what, what I'm saying here. Anyway, probably if this happens, you will have the nose of a police officer and you will commit to this here for following your nose because the, no the fox, he follows his nose and you will check it out. It doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman, but if you are a woman, it will be stronger. You will be like a snake in the grass. You will investigate like a police officer, double check here what is going on. This is what we are seeing here. You will literally follow the evidence. This is what police officers do. They follow the evidence. They follow the facts. And this is what Virgo does also. Um, Virgo is a mental sign and they follow facts. That's why man, many of them are working in labs. They are analyzing details. And here we follow the facts here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, in a way, the marriage or the relationship has a strong cohesion, but there's a lot of going on here. There could also be a strong cohesion also with this lover. Um, on the intellectual level, I would say here, the partner has the same intellectual level as you. So don't underestimate your partner. Don't underestimate your partner. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, don't underestimate them. Also, don't underestimate the, the, the lover in your life. They are smart also. So these are three people who are very smart, what we are seeing here. Um, you just need to follow the dots, connect the dots here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, and you will see if you follow the evidence that you understand how things interrelate with each other, how they are connected. This is what we are seeing here. And you need to use that knowledge in your advantage. This is what we are seeing here. Also, again, coming back to the contracts, the same applies. With your competition for the contract or on your work, you need to do the same. What I just told here about relationship, you apply the same. You follow your nose. You connect the dots. You follow the evidence. If the evidence is in front of you, don't close your eyes. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have the snake and the fox. 
the snake and the fox here. Um, this is the, the uh, this is a very strong combination that we are here. Um, we see that there is deception. We see there is treachery. Um, we need to be careful here. If you are the one who discover things that there is no trap for late. You think you investigate something, but the other one is smart too. And they lay out a trap for you. This is what we are seeing here also. So don't think that you are the only smart one in the game because sometimes here we are played. We are played in a game. This is a chess game. So it's possible that the other ones play you in a certain angle that you don't see. And you eventually come up in a different position. So be smart every move you take. Be, be in stealth mode. Don't see that the evidence, don't leave your evidence on the table. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. Um, you need to be careful here with this combination here. You need to be cautious because else this will have consequences. This is what we are seeing here. But if you are smart, you will be able to manipulate the situation in your own advantage because we have the fox there. But don't think you are the smartest one of the group. You are, but all three of you are. So here, be careful. Um, anyway, uh, you will be confronted here. Um, mostly this points to a female person who is very smart, but not necessarily. It could be a man also, because we do a general reading here and things are not transparent. A person goes here behind your back for certain, for reaching a certain goal. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes this points also to a false friend, but this could be a false, uh, a false engagement also. So we need to be also a little bit careful what we are saying here. But there will be very strong physical desires here, sexual desires. This is what we are seeing here. And sometimes this can clouds the things that are happening to us. This is what we are seeing here with this. But things will be, since the, the snake is a quiet card and the fox is moving in stealth condition, things will not be spoken out. It's possible that everybody smiles at each other, especially with the ring here. The ring is the card of Venus and Venus smiles. So this is what we are seeing here. Well, we can see a little bit like a Colombo situation here. Colombo, he's, he's acting like, a, you, you remember from the series, uh, for some of you who saw the series, he act like, an, like, like he knows nothing, but he's, he's very smart. He knows, he acts like he's an idiot, but he's very smart. Um, um, what we see more here. Um, it's possible on the contracts, I want to add this one also for coming back to that once more. Um, you need to adapt certain things in the contract. So I mentioned this earlier, uh, some adaptation might be necessary. Uh, then we go in the third horizontal line, we have the anchor, the cross and the house, the anchor and the cross here. Uh, there are certain obligations that we are confronted with. We might not be happy with these uh, uh, obligations that we are confronted with here. Um, we might not be able to get out of these obligations that we have made, especially related to the house, especially related to organization, the structure that we work in. If we work for a certain boss and we make certain promises, certain contracts, we will not be able to get out of them because the cross tells us these are your responsibilities. These are the promises you made. You are now confronted with them. What you promise, you must keep. This is what I what we see here with this card. This could be unpleasant situation if you didn't work out the situation very well. Um, if you didn't work it very well and you didn't make solid foundations, you could be confronted with certain things that are unpleasant here. Um, so see you make your bet because in a very negative way, if you don't see things through and if you don't pay attention to the details, you could come in a situation that is extremely and that you don't want to be in, financially or otherwise. Um, anyway, um, what this also tells us, um, you could find, if situations are difficulty, uh, difficult for you, you could find stability in religion, um, in spirituality here, if you have some pain, not necessarily physical pain, but if you are in pain uh, or in a form of, of that you have, a, that you or your mind is not high, 
uh, that that your mind is uh, lower like I'm, I'm maybe depression is, is too extreme but if you have a clouded mind let's say it like that you could find some relief in in your church in your mosque in your ashram whatever here this is pointed sandra also um and you probably will continue this because it gives you um uh, of a certain relief. You could find stability in there. Um, it, you could see this literally as a pillar of strength, your, your, uh, your religion. And this is not necessarily a bad thing. This is what we are seeing here. Um, you will have also, if you come in extreme situations and you didn't take care of yourselves before, you could be confronted here with painful duties. This is what we are seeing here also with this, uh, with this uh, combination of cards. Uh, then we have the cross and the house. This, the cross is the responsibilities. The house is the place where we work, where we live. Sometimes also our body. This means that we are very responsible towards our body. Meaning maybe you take care of your body. Maybe there are certain, you want your body to be stable on the long run. A lot of Virgos are very aware of their body. And we should be also because our, our body is our vehicle. If, if our vehicle don't work, well, you know what happens. Same with your car. If you don't maintain it, well, it lets you down. So if we don't maintain our body, it let us down. So here, you could be conscious about that. You want your body to keep moving you. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Uh, sometimes also um, with this combination of card, um, if the situation is extreme here on the relationship front, we saw earlier here that you might consider a renter, but here we see that we might consider if this situation is really extreme on the, on the relationship front, we might consider a move or it might start to play in our head. This is what we are seeing here. Um, but in a way, our home situation is also protected. So it's a little bit double here with this card, but there will be um, there will be situations here in the home concerning rules, regulations, promises that we are made. We will be reminded of them. These are the responsibilities of the house. These are the responsibilities of the work. These are the responsibilities that you have towards your body. This is what we see here with this card, um, with this uh, combination of cards. Um, anyway. If you consider this, don't rush, rush. Make a plan, be diplomatic, wait till it's the right time. It might be not yet the right time to take the next step. So consider this, meditate. If you want to pray, pray, whatever it is that, that here, be careful, be, be quiet, relax, set your mind in the right condition here. It's very important to do so. This is what we are seeing here with this combination, but something is going on uh, in the house also, of course, it affects our house if the relationship with the partners or uh, the partners would be not in good condition. Um, it could also mean that you have, that you don't feel so safe anymore in your house for some reasons. Um, it's possible also that you get very suspicious what is happening around your house and you have like, Maybe you, you think I need to double, when you go out, it's like you're testing, you're double checking if everything is closed down. Uh, it's possible also that things happening in the place where you are born or your birth house or the place where you come from that you do some checking up there. This is what we are seeing here. But as I said, there will be responsibilities here, hardships in the family. Um, this is what we are seeing here. Um, we could be also very traditional and we, we, we are not able to change certain points of view in our life. Uh, now we're going to go in the cross. We see if we can add something here in the cross. We have the whip, the snake and the house. Again, here we see that we need to be careful for backstabbing. Um, be careful with dishonesty, things that are happening around, we always get the same confirmation. Uh, it could be a painful episode in your life that manipulation is very often occurring. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. If you can avoid, I mentioned this earlier, try to avoid confrontation here. This is what we are seeing here. 
keep your basing, keep your feet on the ground. This is what we are seeing. Don't get into some form of dissolution. It's very important that you keep your feet on the ground, that you keep track. This is very important here. Uh, you need to keep stable. Don't start to wander around. Keep your feet on the ground, especially for moving. Maybe it's not the right time. Keep your feet on the ground here. But it will affect probably what is happening there. It will affect the whole family, not only you, but it might also affect your family, uh, the children also, because of course there's part of the deal if you have children uh, or it can affect other family members. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also it points that we are getting angry. There's something building up inside of us, but we should keep calm as I mentioned earlier here, but there could be uh, pain manipulation here. I mentioned this already uh, before here. We could be confronted with troublemakers here. This is what we are seeing here, but we need to keep calm, diplomatic here um, with this uh, card of uh, with this combination. Sometimes it points, if things escalate, that we, with the sun, I mentioned this earlier, that we seek justice. So this comes back here, but I mentioned this earlier already. We could be confronted with, um, with, with documents, maybe even we appear for somebody, maybe a judge, maybe a lawyer here, this is what we are seeing here, or a counselor, we, 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 we ask advice to a counselor, this is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Then we have the snake and the house, the secrecy in the house, I already mentioned, but I just see if I could, uh, something is off with the connections in the house, but literally you could, uh, if it, it's not in the, in, in, with the family members, sometimes uh, in the morning we, we rise and you open the tab and no more water. And then you think, what is this? There could be something with the plumbing. This is what we see here. This is then more on the physical or we turn on the light and there's no light. This is what we are seeing here, but this is then more in a physical way. It depends how it plays out on you, but there will be do domestic problems here. Uh, as I said here, be careful. Don't put anything on the internet that you don't want to be there because uh, you could some people here uh, having on the lookout for certain things. We need to be very careful what we put on the internet, especially if we expose expensive things from ourselves on the internet. Be careful with these things uh, because the privacy could be threatened here. Be careful here um, um, with this uh, combination. Um, it's possible that you yourself, you are, I mentioned this earlier, that you are very strict here for holding rules and regulation. Um, sometimes also this points that we come home at unexpected times. Maybe this is for double checking. We come home in a roundabout way. So maybe you change your times, maybe for controlling. This is what we are seeing here also with this uh, combination because the snake works in a roundabout way. This is what we are seeing here. Or you drive home in another, in another way as you used to be. This is what we are seeing here also with this combination. But there's a very strong need for safety, for comfortability. Uh, this is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination uh, of, uh, of cards. Sometimes also we are confront confronted with inner with inner feelings. So this means that there is, could be a conflict between your true desires and a traditional lifestyle. It's possible that you had a very traditional lifestyle before. Everything was worked out. We rise at uh, six, we, we go to work at, 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 at 7.15 and everything is ruled and regulated. But it's possible that some things are changing here. Of course, if there are confrontations, it will change. And it's possibly also that there is desire for get out of the traditional. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. In another way, um, we will work out a plan and we will set our goals for certain plans. This could mean, again, for the work then that we follow because the advantage of the snake is that she's very focused. If she connects to something or if she focuses on something, on her prey, like the fox, these are two praying cards. If she focuses on something, she waits till it's the right time. And the fox additionally hides the snake. So you focus on your job, for instance. You are a very, very strong focus, and this is my target, and this is where I'm going to go and nowhere else. This is a very strong combination for that. So, uh, Virgo, this is all. Um, 
it's a little bit of a suspicious reading that we are having here, but not necessarily negative. But of course, on the home front, there will be some uh, issues that we uh, need to attend there, uh, as we saw earlier. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time, uh, Virgo. Uh, thank you for staying uh, till the end here of this video. Um, I hope you get a little bit wiser out of it. Um, if you did, thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. If you want to see uh, more videos um, about more the spiritual, we do also spiritual uh, guides. We have I do a card reading with three. There are spiritual guides. You can check them also uh, on my channel. Um, you can find them there. And the three, we, we do also financial card readings, specific financial card readings. Um, you can find those also. And the three, you connect uh, to a whole for the month to come. So it's like three in one that you get there um, uh, if you have um, if you uh, can focus on the three card readings. Anyway, um, uh, Virgo, thank you for your time, and we see each other next time. Bye bye for now.